Hi everybody, it's Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's uh, MT Predictor video, I'd like to look at how the US e minis unfolded yesterday, which was September the 12th. For standard traders, it would have been a very good day indeed, because as you can see, the STF was primarily red on our 3 minute ES. Therefore, this standard TS3 cell setup would have been in the direction of the STF color and would have gone down to the first target for a nice 2.9 hour profit. Standard traders would not have taken that DP trade because it was against the, the black, uh, sorry, the red STF, but more advanced traders may have had a look at the volume and seen that that was actually a high volume uh, spike on that bar there and may have taken that one because it was what we call a VSA setup. So you would have had a nice long trade <clears throat> coming off that, but that's more of an advanced trade. Anyway, let's move on to the YM. YM was also a red STF. So we'd have had a sell set up here, actually we caught the very high of the day, which would be very nice indeed. Down into this first target here, where 5.3 hour profit would have been available. Uh, standard trades would have not swapped to long trades because the STF was still black. And in fact, you'd have waited till this TS3 sell, which is also in the direction of the red STF, to then have another short trade here for another 2.3 hour profit. So standard traders, very, very good results there. Let's have a look at the NQ. NQ would have had a TS1 buy setup here. STF was black, so if I zoom in a bit, you would have been long off this first trade setup here. <clears throat> and then standard traders, because the STF was red, you'd have been swapping to a short trade off this setup here, which actually was our history triangle, banking 1.5 hour profit on the way up. You'd have then have been short here, down into this uh, TS4 buy setup. Now it's a bit unlucky because this TS4 buy setup here was just on a black STF. You can see that 1239 bar there was a black STF. So standard traders would then swap to a long trade, but actually have banked for our profit on that uh, decline down there. But then, worse luck, would have then had a long trade that would have been stopped out for a minus one hour loss. Remember, losing trades can and do happen, but if you'd just made a four hour profit, that would be four times greater than the loss there, so that would be um, that would have been okay. So overall, the NQ would have had a good day yesterday. Um, standard traders would not have been taking this DP buy because it was on a red STF. However, more experienced users would have seen that was on a VSA um, bar we had there, and may have considered that as well, just like we had on our ES. But now I want to have a look at the um, larger degree trends with a view to all more experienced traders because this was a bit unlucky on the uh, N, sorry, the ES but you'd have done better on the NQ. Let me show you why. On ES, in our um, teaching webinar on Friday, we were actually looking at support coming off the DP of this prior pivot low here. So we were suggesting that potential support was coming in here. Therefore, the TS3 sell setup, which was here, was against our uh, new uptrend of this support. Now, that was a bit unlucky, but obviously because the market then carried on down. What I did say at the time is if you did like the look of this and you want to take it, my normal advice is once you get to the 100% initial risk level, you bring your stop to break even, which would have allowed you to have taken that trade. But I think the better setup was actually on the NQ. Now I just want to show you why. Now remember on the NQ, we had a nice TS3 sell setup for standard traders. Whoops, sorry, I zoomed out there by mistake. And of course, we'd have swapped to a long trade here. But let's now look at this with the views of a more advanced MT predictor user. So we go to the higher time frame chart, in this case the 15 minute chart. We would have placed our DP uh, resistance areas from the prior pivot uh, swing on the halfway through the September the 11th, and that would have caught the high uh, going into the close on the 11th there. Therefore, the trend would have been down. Now, our next pivot support would have been off the last swing into this high. You can see here's our swing and here's our pivot low. So we'd have actually placed a DP support down here. In other words, the trend from this high would have been down and down all the way into this 15 minute support down there. This was a lot better than the ES because the ES had a small potential support zone in and around here. But the, as you can see on the NQ, we didn't. On the NQ, the large degree trend was down. Actually, the same picture was on the uh, YM. So if I go to the YM chart, and I then look at the higher time frame chart there as well. You can see the trend was down. It was well through this first support zone. So the decline down there was well through that. Therefore, the large degree trend was still down. And you've actually gone back to the last pivot, main pivot low, which was here. 
it's the last main pivot low and as you can see that trend was still on the way down there but I think the clearest picture and this is my advice to all traders it's best to always trade the clearest picture in other words don't try and struggle with your analysis if you struggle go to a market or a uh, another setup that's actually clearer and I think the NQ was the clearest because we had clear resistance there on the 15 minute chart clearly down into that 15 minute support zone there so now if we look at this with a more experienced eyes let's see how this would have uh, looked there's our 15 minute resistance there's our 15 minute support largely trend is down therefore you'd probably avoided this long trade up here but you would have taken this TS3 sell setup but more importantly you'll have ridden that down into at least the first target if not a little bit further so rather than coming out a bit earlier with 4 hour profit you'd have made near 8 hour profit which would have been a very very good result indeed but either way whether you were a standard trader yesterday which was Friday the 12th or whether you were a more experienced user you'd have viewed the market slightly differently but overall all of um, the MT predictor customers should have come out with some good profits via our standard trade management guidelines or whether you, you were more experienced and used the higher time frame charts uh, for your DP support and resistance areas and gauge your large degree trend from that. So either way, a good day for MT Predictor yesterday, which was Friday the 12th.